More than 24 years ago, a revival began in Canada that has swept throughout the world. And now the founders of that movement say something even bigger is on the way. Take a look. John and Carol Arnott are best known for their revival ministry, which began with the Toronto Blessing in 1994. Now, more than 20 years later, they say a holy tsunami is on the horizon. I think in these days that we're entering into, whether they be a year, two years, whatever it is, we need to learn to hear his voice and obey it immediately. In their latest book, Preparing for the Glory, the Arnots tell Christians how to get ready for the next wave of the Holy Spirit. And please welcome back to the 700 Club, John and Carol Arnott. Great to see you guys. Thanks, Wendy. You look spectacular. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, well, let me ask you, what signs are you seeing that indicate that the mother of all revivals is on the way? I guess whoever wants to go first. Huh? Well, yeah, I just... think everywhere we go, we yeah. see increase in terms of the, the, the broad spectrum, but also the intensity of everything again. You know, revivals tend to ebb and flow. Right. And 94, 5, 6 was so intense. But now we're getting back up to those kind of levels again. Mm -hmm. And uh, it just feels like there's a volcano under our feet ready to blow. <laughs> Carol, what will this next wave of the Holy Spirit be like, feel like, look like? <laughs> well, I really feel that from a dream that, I, that I'd had a couple of years ago, um, the next cloud that comes down is a cloud of the awesome, reverent fear of the Lord. Mm. Because we've been saying, God, we want to see the blind mm. see. We want to see the deaf hear. We want to see the dead rise. And all of those things Jesus did in his ministry, and thousands came to Jesus. And that's, I think, what, what we're longing for, because we, the harvest has to come in. And you said you had a dream. I did, a powerful dream where, you know, we were playing um, the church in, in, in general was playing um, one foot with the Lord and one foot not. Well, mm. God's such a loving God. Yeah. And so I can, I can do this and then go repent. Mm -hmm. mm. And he'll forgive me and I can go on. But God is requiring as as we step into greater signs and wonders, greater miracles, mm. um, he requires a holiness of our hearts. So a right attitude to God, to, to be children and, and l listen, yeah. to hear his voice and listen and obey. When he says, do something, do it. Sure. Not, well, Lord, I'll do it later. Get ready. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, and he said, if you don't want that, um, get out. Like in, in the dream, it was run for your lives wow. because that glory cloud was coming down. Wow. And again, it's not a holiness thing. Mm -hmm. It's a holiness of the heart. Interesting. It's a reverent fear. John, yeah. how, do, how do we prepare for revival? How do we prepare our hearts? I think it's the, the real key is fall in love with him mm -hmm. and yeah. meaning spend time with him, just bathe in his presence really get connected with him. That, that's what did it for us mm -hmm. initially. And we're still contending for that to this day. Yes. Yeah, the Father's heart, that's always been the, yeah. the yeah. foundation of your ministry. So when you're yeah. really in love yeah. with him, you, you know, you don't do things that hurt him or offend him. It's just one of the things that keeps you close. Mm -hmm. So I, I see that as a major key. Yeah. But mm -hmm. the requirement for holiness is still there. Uh, right. Yeah, to what are, it, do what he says kind of thing. What are some practical ways uh, we can get ready? Oh, you just said spending time with him. In just Spend time with him, get filled up with him. You know, I, I like a balance of three things. You know, we're, the inward journey is for us. The upward journey is for him. Mm -hmm. The outward journey is for our mission and our ministry. So you need to be healthy in all three of those areas and not just miss one like the inward journey. Well, I know you all are still traveling around the world. Uh, what kind of signs and wonders are you seeing in your ministry right now? Well, in England, it was it was amazing because uh, out of my out of my mouth mm -hmm. came 
everybody that has, is in a wheelchair or can't walk, come up to the front because God is going to heal you. And I went, <laughs> oh, no. what have I just said? I mean, I was just, I was just absolutely... <laughs> and I had this little necklace on that Billy, that Benny Johnson had given us that says, God's got this. Mm -hmm. And I'm really freaking because I don't know what happened out of my mouth because it wasn't in my head. <laughs> and, and I touched this and, it's, and I said, God, I don't have this. Right. And he said, I have it. I have it. And I said, okay, God, if you have it, I'm going for it. And all of them, three wheelchairs and a couple of walkers in crutches mm -hmm. all walked. And John has just come back from Mexico, and yeah. you've Similar? just seen incredible things. Yeah, we just had an amazing time in Mexico. It just mm -hmm. kind of blew up. Yeah. We saw about 1,000 people come to the Lord, and at least that many healings. And, of course, people under the power all over the place, especially pastors. Wow. So Pat some pastors' meetings were just electric. Is this new even to you all, or have you seen this level of of success not, in your ministry? Not for a while. Not the kind of wheelchairs consistently, mm. not the kind of numbers of miracles. What did you see in Mexico? Oh, my goodness. There was uh, one, one man, before we even got preaching, he came walking down the aisle crying and saying, I can hear, I can hear. And here this guy had been deaf for yeah. 12 years, and he just got healed in the worship. And it was an amazing thing. It was... It just kind of shocked us all. Wait a minute, we haven't even got going yet. You know? I know. You well, did that without us. You know? <laughs> and that's so great because, yeah. uh, but people have been praying for revival for yes. so many years. Yes. And to hear you all say it, um, you're so well respected in the Christian community that it is coming and it it's coming, coming in a big way. Yeah. But we've got to play our part. We do. Uh, well, there's so much more in your new book. John Carroll's book is called Preparing for the Glory. It's available wherever books are sold. To hear more from them about this coming revival, go to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash 700 club for more.